Hey, hello, Julio. Hello, Julio. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How is it going today? Good. Uh, it was my um my day off at the office. Mm -hmm. So I stayed at home all day long. All right, that's cool. That you had a day off. How many days off uh, you have? Uh, just this one. Oh, uh, I I needed to do some some things out, out of the house, so I asked for um uh, a day off. That's right. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. You you run errands out of the house. I I guess you run mm -hmm. errands. Errands is a word when you go out and you go to the bank, you go shopping, you visit any relative. That's okay. running an errand. I will show you the word. Don't worry. Thank you. The vocabulary for you to use. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Jorge Alberto, welcome. And Wendy Paola, hello, guys. How is it going today? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How is it going? Good during this day? Mm, my day was uh, very different. It's very relaxing. Ah, okay, that's cool. Good, good, good that you relax. Uh, in life, we have to relax, all right? Not only working all the time, you have to find uh, a space to rest. That's cool. Okay, good. Let's see who else is joined. Uh, Melissa Stephanie. Welcome, Melissa. Great seeing you online. Let's see who else. Uh, I have a Catherine Lisbeth. Hello, Kathy. Carla. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? I'm so tired. Ah, you're tired. You had a difficult day at work? Yes. I see, I see. Okay, but remember, it's the class is only one hour. We need to take the most of it. Okay, uh, Julio, this is the word. Errand. That's Thank the you, word. Errand. Yeah, you can use it. I have to I have to run with an errand in the in the morning, etc. You know. Okay, Thank guys, you. no problem, no problem. We are gonna continue. We were pending, right, with uh, with a portion in last night class. Yeah, we were doing this, remember? Gerons as uh, subjects. That is that we were doing last night. In this opportunity, this is the second part of the class that we have pending. The topic is kind of similar. Gerunds as objects. The previous ones, they were subjects. These ones are objects. Okay, in the picture, what is, what is the gerund that you can guess from the picture? This one. What's yeah. the gerund? <laughs> ah, huh? yell. Yell, yell, the verb in the gerund? Yelling. Yelling, correct, yelling. That's it. All right. Uh, did we did we study the structure? Did we check it? Remember? Yeah, we did. We did? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. A small review. You can use any subject, no matter the subject, my mother, etc. You can use, uh, in this case, verbs like this one. And in this part, the gerund and the complement, as we checked. Um, did we check this one, right? As well? Yeah, we checked it. Okay, we checked perfect. It. All right. So we're going to pass in these ones, remember? Mm -hmm. did we? This was no, right? We didn't. We didn't, I think. Okay. Uh, Julio, can you... Can you read the third, the three first examples about gerunds as objects? Look, like playing video games. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, the 
Three, three of them. Three. Okay. Look likes playing video games. I hate packing suitcases. My favorite things to do is reading horror books. All right, thank you. All right, we have three sentences. All right, what about Sophia? Can you continue after my favorite thing? He. He loves telling the story of him winning the math contest to his friends. All right, next. I enjoy working as a volunteer during summer. Mm -hmm. We hate cleaning the house. And finally. And they love listening to pop music. All right, very good. Check subjects, any subject. Look, I, my favorite thing to do. He loves, I enjoy, we hate, they love. You can use any subject, the next verb. And the next one, ing, and a complement. Okay, let's see. Uh, please help me, uh, Carla Rene. Next, next part, please. There are. There are some verbs followed by gerunds. We can use the next ones. The next ones, yes. What <laughs> what verbs can you use with gerunds? Avoid. Love. Dislike, finish, hate, gone, imagine. All right, good. What is the example? Continue. Lisa loves eating junk food. Okay, very good. If you check, guys, Lisa is the subject. The verb is? Third person. Love. All right, correct. Loves. And the gerund after the normal verb. Eating. eating. That's right. And a complement to finish the sentence. John Ford. Okay. Um the next the next one is next example. They dislike waiting a lot of time. All right, very good. Check the same. Subject, normal verb, a gerund, and a complement. And that is gerunds as objects. The object of the sentence is waiting. The object of the sentence is eating in those two. All right. Um, what is the indication for this exercise? Uh, let's see, Melissa. Melissa, Melissa. What's the indication for this one? With? With the picture from a sentence with gerund as object. Okay, good. We are gonna form sentences as objects with those two. What about, what can you say in number one, picture one? Remember, you can use any subject, any subject at the beginning. Okay, let's see, uh, maybe Luis, uh, Catherine, or Jorge, how can you begin the sentence in this picture? Check, check the picture. He's doing an activity. Can you say any sentence, example? Uh, he wait. He, okay. He is correct. He. What can be next? What can be uh, next? Sharon uh, waiting. Okay. Oh, waiting. Oh, oh. Check. This is the formula. Any subject, uh, you have the subject. He. It is there. But you need a normal verb in the third person, for example, like this one, enjoys. Uh -huh. What verb can you use? He hates. All hate. right, yes, you hate. can use a hate because when you use a hate, 
The next verb is ing, correct. He, okay. uh -huh, correct. He hates. Now the gerund. Waiting. Waiting. For. Uh-huh, waiting for his girlfriend, for example. Okay, that normally happens, right? <laughs> you have to wait for somebody who gets late. All right, very good. Check. Subject, verb in the third person, and the ing. That is the object. And the complement. And the sentence is, is correct. Very good. What about the second picture? Second picture? He loves singing. All right. He loves singing. Uh, can you add more complement to the sentence? In the karaoke? The karaoke. Ah, in karaoke, karaoke. In karaoke. Okay, in the karaoke. That's right. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Nice, nice. Subject, verb in the third person, loves. Jerun, that's it. And the complement. Very good. That is correct as well. Okay. Questions about this part, guys? Questions about gerunds as objects? It's pretty similar from the previous. Questions? Any, any? Don't you have any question? Okay, let's see. In this part, you have links, links to practice this topic about gerunds as subjects and gerunds as objects. And that was, that is what we had pending last night and no more. Okay, we are gonna close this presentation and we'll continue with the class number, what class number? Four. Number four. A, you have access already to the platform? You have no. access? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Any issue with the platform, please report it. Report it, please. All right. Let's continue with uh, today's class, pre-advanced model one. Okay. Um, the title tonight is about comparing things. What is compare? Can you can you give me a definition for compare? What definition can you think about when we talk about compare? Any a short short definition? What is, what is uh, compare? Uh, looks the similar or difference between two things. Ah, okay, very good, Luis. Key. A keyword is two things. We have one, we have two. No three, only two things. You are gonna compare two things. All right, pretty good. Okay, that's it. Next, in this part, question. What is the question, Alejandra? Maybe, can you read it? Which computing ecosystem is better? Okay. Better, what is better? What is the word better? Mejor. Uh -huh, correct, and that is? That is a? Comparative adjective. Comparative adjective, very good. Better is a comparative adjective, okay. Which computer ecosystem is better? What is this computing ecosystem? You know it? Windows. Yeah, yeah Windows. Windows, all right. We grew up with uh, Windows, using Windows in the school, in the university, etc. You know it already. Okay. Versus the next ecosystem, computing ecosystem is? Mac OS. Yes, or iOS, as some people say. Some people say iOS, Mac, etc. Yeah, but that is the one. Okay, good. 
Let's see. In your opinion, which one is better? Which one? Okay, we are going to compare. Office, maybe Windows. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, Mac OS is better system than Windows. Uh, okay, if that is your opinion. Good, good. I like both. I like both. I can say, ah, Windows is better, or Mike is better, or is, is worse, etc. But that's my opinion. I like both. But we're going to compare them using comparative adjectives. Let's see. Please help me in this portion, Eduardo. Eduardo, please. Eduardo, Jose. To compare. To compare two things, we have to use adjectives. Hmm? Some adjectives are great, difficult, easy, and recommendable. Recommendable, correct. Yeah. Okay. If you want to compare, we have to use adjectives, but not these ones. Okay, those are adjectives. Next, in this list, continue, continue, please. In this list, you can find the comparative adjectives. Okay, what you need to do is only click on the link and check. On the browser, it opens this list. You have adjective, for example, angry. Huh? Example, what is the adjective? Angry. Uh, angry. Angry. What is the comparative adjective for angry? Angrier. Correct. Angrier. We are going to use the comparative to compare. All right. And if you check, many, many adjectives. Black. What is black? The color? Black. Black. Mm -hmm, but it's an adjective. Colors are adjectives. Did you know? Yeah. Did you know that colors are adjectives? No? It's really? No, I did. <laughs> really? Check. Black. It is an adjective. Yeah, it is. Check. Having the darkest color there is, blah, 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 blah. blah. Colors are adjectives. You can use them as well. Okay. Um, coming back, check many adjectives in this list. We're going to use only the comparative. Okay. Uh, hey, what's, what's going on? It, okay. We are in, in this part, in the rules. Let's open the second link. Okay. This is a mini activity. We are going to do it. Okay, can you form a sentence? What is the sentence in the correct order? Selena. B. Okay, the subject, right? Selena. Is better than A. Is better than Haley, I don't know who is a Haley. I know Selena, maybe Selena Gomez, right? Okay, mm -hmm. next. He, he is the worst. Okay, is the worst. The worst oh. soccer okay. player. That is the current one. Very good. Now. In this one, what is the order? iPhone. Okay. iPhone. Is better than Samsung. Better. better. Is? Better. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Better, better than Samsung. Samsung. Okay, some people agree with this, some people don't. Okay, what about this one? Vegetables. All right, vegetables. Are the best. Okay, 
In this one, it, this is not comparative. This is the superlative. We don't use superlatives when comparing two things. Superlatives, no, but this is the example that appears. But not a problem. It is correct. What about this one? My. Correct. My car my, is my yours. And yours. My, my car. car is faster yours. yours. Ah, okay. This is the comparative, yes. Right. Good. This is the comparative. That's right. Okay, uh, let's do a couple of more examples. Next one. The exam. Uh, the, the exam. Was harder. Was harder. Than I expected. Than I expected. Than I expected, correct. Than I expected. Yeah, that is the one. Okay, very good. Okay, the last one. Her dress. Is Her dress. Her dress. Is, is pretty. Is prettier than mine. mine. Okay, good. Okay, we are going to stop because there are 25 examples, too many for this moment. But you have the link. You can continue uh, doing the sentences in this link. Okay, let's continue. Let's, uh, how, let's see how to form comparatives. Uh, comparative adjectives, rules. Did you study in, in the previous courses the comparative adjectives? Did you study the rules, guys? Do you remember? about uh, comparative adjectives rules? Didn't you check them in any course? No? Okay, in this one, yes, because I have it. Let's open the first link. Let's see. Okay. Hey, too many, too much propaganda. All right, please to help me in this part. Let's see, Jorge Alberto. Can you read it, please? Can you read this part? Help me with the reading. Comparative adjectives. Um, when, when we talk about two things, we can compare it. Then we can see if they are the same or the different. Perhaps they are the same in some ways and different in other ways. We can use the comparative adjective to describe the difference. Differences. Good. Differences. Correct. It's in plural. Ah, we are going to look for differences between this object and the other one. Correct. Continue, please. We, we use comparative adjectives when talking about two things. Not three or more things. Not three or more, only two, as we said. Continue. In. In the example below, bigger is the comparative form of the adjective B. B, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you. Now continue. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe Wendy, Wendy Paola. Hello? Wendy, Wendy. Uh, Beatriz, maybe? Okay. Uh, in the, uh, in the example part. for me... Yeah, this part, A1. A1 is bigger than A2. Good, continue. Formation on comparative objectives. There are two ways to make or to form a comparative ad adjective. Short adjective add er long adjective use more okay good let's see a pronunciation on this word just reviewing it is adjective can you repeat it adjective 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 adjective, adjective. 
It is in the first Adjective. syllable. Okay, the stress in this in the first syllable. Adjective. Very good. Okay, two ways. Short adjectives add er. Er. Yes, only in the short ones. And number two, long. Adjective. Long adjectives use, use more. more. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let's see, Luis Carranza, please. Short adjectives add er. One. Number one, syllable adjectives. Ah, one syllable adjectives. But one adjectives, syllable adjectives. Correct. Adjectives that have one syllable. Example? Sample old and fast. And fast. Because they are short. They are short. They have one syllable. Next? Two syllable adjectives ending in Y. Examples? Happy and easy. Okay, now we have two uh, two syllables. Happy and easy. Very good. Rule, continue. Rule. Rule. Add ER. Okay, in the adjective old, the comparative is? It's older. Older, that's right. Okay, very good. That's it. You only add ER. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Francisco Antonio, welcome. Great seeing you. Continue, Francisco, in this part, please. We are checking adjectives rules. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Variation. If the adjective ends in mm -hmm. E, just add R. Okay. Example? Example, late, later. Later, because the adjective has already E, you only have the letter R, and that's it. Good. Next. Yeah. Another variation. Uh, variation. If the in the if the adjective ends in consonant, uh, vowel consonant double the last consonant. For example, uh, big, bigger. Bigger. That's right. See. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant, big, bigger. And that is the rule. Double, duplicate the second consonant in the adjective. And the third one. Third another variation. example. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, another, another example, uh, maybe hot. Ah, yeah, the correct. That, that's big. another another adjective <clears throat> in, with this rule. That's it. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hot. Hot is the normal adjective. The comparative. Hotter. 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 Yeah. Hotter. Okay, hotter. Yeah. That's right. Hotter. That is that is the adjective, yes. The comparative adjective. And finally, uh, if finally variation, if the adjective ends. Uh, in Y, change the Y to I. For example, happy, happier. Happier. All right. Happy, happier. Okay. Those are some yeah. variations in the rules. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have more things to check before continuing with the example. Uh, Carla, please. Carla, Rene, what happens with the long adjectives? Long adjectives use more. Two syllable adjectives not ending in Y. Example, mother, pleasant. Okay. Mother, mother is a normal adjective. Mother. What is the comparative? More. Mother. More. Mother. Correct. Because in these adjectives, we have two syllables. Hey, teacher, how do I know? How do I know how many syllables a word has? Use the tools. You can use this one or this one. Check. Modern. How many adjectives? No, how many adjectives? No. 
syllables in the word. Modern. First syllable. Modern. Mo. Second Dern. syllable. Modern. Dern. Pronunciation. Modern. 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 That's right. That's how you can check about syllables. Okay, continue, please. All adjectives are three or more syllables. Example. Mm -hmm. I can think. <laughs> okay. Expensive intellectual. All right. Expensive. How many syllables in expensive? Three. Three. That's right. Expensive. That's it. Let's see the chat. Ah, okay, Romeo, bad, bad news. Okay, but don't worry, it's, it's fine. Intellectual is the next one. Okay, rule, we have a rule. Rule, use more. Examples, modern, more modern. Expensive, more expensive. Okay, with the long adjectives only, with the long adjectives. Okay, let's see, uh, hey, we have more examples. Uh, can you read the examples, please, uh, Julius Cesar? What examples we have in this part? Um, quiet uh, with uh, quiet, quieter, more quiet. Hey, quieter or more quiet? What quiet. is the correct one? With with Choose some, to, we can use a e r. Uh, or more. Or more. Okay. I Those, think both of them are right. Both are right. Correct. You can uh -huh. use quieter or more quiet. Quiet. Next. Clever, clever, more clever. Hmm? Narrow, narrower, more narrow. Simple, simple, more simple. All right. Okay, if you want, you can check simple. What is the comparative adjective for simple? Let's see if the dictionary shows it. Okay, it's telling me that is an adjective. I have the pronunciation. Simple. Simple. Let's see, I have, what else? Definitions. And you can continue checking if you find the comparative. Okay, or in this one. Okay, word family, noun, simplicity, blah, 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 adjective, verb, adverb, etc. Okay, but you can check. Ah, here it is. I can stop. Here it is. Uh, it says uh, comparative. Simple. Simpler. And there it is. Ahí está. That is how you can check. Okay. Hey, but we have exceptions in these rules. Uh, for example, uh, let's see, Sophia. What is the example in the exception? Exception, the following adjectives have irregular form. Ah, same as verbs. In, in grammar, we have regular and irregular verbs. Same in adjectives. Example? Yes, Sofia? Example? Good. Better. Good. What is good? Bueno. Yeah. Okay. Good. Better. Okay. The well, better. Mm -hmm. Well, healthy. Better. Okay. Well means about your health. Do you feel well? Okay. And the comparative of this is better as well. Similar. It is similar. Would and well. Next. Bad words. Bad and words. Adjective, the comparative adjective of bad is worse. Okay. And far, farther, further. Yes, we have two. For this one, we have two. For far, farther and further. And that's it. Okay. And we have more examples, blah, blah, blah. You can check these ones. Check. You have examples, a lot of information in this website okay but let's see let's see how we can compare second link uh you have uh, this activity as well 
check. What is he doing in the picture? Where is he? Where is he? In the supermarket. He's in the supermarket. What is he doing? What he's trying to do? Looking he's for... Uh, he's comparing to... Compare. Correct. This is comparing. Correct. He's comparing prices. He's comparing, I don't know, colors. Maybe he's comparing what is... Excuse me? The quality. The price. Ah, okay. The, the price, the quality, the product, etc. Okay. Guys, this is extra information for you to check. See? Grammar, explanation, adjectives, one syllable, two syllables. It is almost the same. Almost the same. But let's look more examples about this. Comparison structures. In English, we use the following structures to compare. Okay. The first structure that you can use is... More than. More than. More than. Okay, that is the first one. Number two. Less than. Less than. Number three. As. 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 Okay. As. Yeah, but we don't have subject. We don't have verb. We don't have a, the adjective comparative in this part because those are the structures only. We are going to check. Um, in number four. That is us. Okay, but we are going to complete that. But you can use mainly those four. Okay, let's see. Uh, in the example, can you read the example, please? Uh, let's see, Eduardo Jose. This example. Windows is better than iOS. Okay, good. Check. Verb to be. Always in single. single. All the time. Always, always, always. Because we are comparing two things, but one is going to be better than the other. Next, we have comparative adjective. That's right. And after the comparative adjective, we can use the word done. Done. Or done. And the complement, of course. Good. The adjective? Easy. 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 Okay. What is the sentence example using the adjective easy in a comparative way? Example, window please. Is, uh, uh -huh. Window is easier than iOS. Ah, is that true, guys? Do you agree with that? Do you agree that Windows is easier than iOS system? Mm -hmm. Why not? It can be true. For me, yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, it's, it's easier. Yes, it, it's easier. I agree. It's easier. Okay, very good. The sentence is correct. Easier. Comparative adjective. Good. Okay. In the word, yeah. that, that you can use. All right. Uh, please help me. Ta -ta -da 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 -da. Catherine, Catherine, the next examples, please. Using Jerons. Ah, last night class, right? Remember last night class? Jerons as subject. Okay. For example, these ones. Number one. Using Windows system is easier than using iOS system. Okay, very cool. Number two. Navi navigating. Mm -hmm. Navigating through iOS is less dangerous than in Windows. Hey, is that true, guys? Uh, people who use uh, Windows, is that true? That mm -hmm. navigating through iOS is less, less dangerous than in Windows. True or false? What do you think? I, I I have I have heard about it, and and they said that uh, in iOS uh, it's impossible to get a a virus, but I'm not sure. Okay, I agree with your opinion, but in post I wouldn't say impossible. <laughs> okay, I would say 
is less possible. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, because you are using this, you can use the structure. Ah, no, navigating in, uh, in through iOS is less possible. Check, I am using another adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, less possible. But dangerous is a normal adjective. What is the thing? Because you are using the word less. Check. When you use less, normal adjective, no comparative. All right? Okay, but I agree. And when, yeah. you, when you use more, uh, more as well, normal adjective. More and normal adjective. And normal adjective, correct. Example? More An example? Dangerous. Uh, okay, use uh, navigating uh, through. Use the same. Use the same structure in this part. Navigating, navigating through. through iOS is... No, no, it's Windows because Windows has the problems. <laughs> okay. Navigating through Windows is more dangerous than in iOS. Perfect. That's, that's the one. Correct. That's the one. That is the one. Good. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Why uh, always verb be in singular? But it's possible compare, for example, um, airplanes are faster than cars. Oh, good question. Yes. Okay, because the rule says we are when you compare two things, it's only one and two. But in your sentence, you say airplanes. Uh, can you repeat it one more time, please? Airplanes are faster than cars correct uh, oh, okay then cars hey but what why are you using verb to be in plural can you tell me what what is the idea here in this sentence is the sentence correct or not correct opinions not correct not correct okay all right, I have one opinion, not correct. Who else? Who else? It's correct. It's correct. Ah, it is correct. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Now tell me the reason why it is correct. Think, think for a moment. Or the reason why the sentence is not correct. What happens with this? Yes, the sentence is in plural, but Airplanes is a group. Yes or no? Yes. It is yes. a group. Yes. Airplanes is a group. And what is the other group? Cars. Cars, correct. Is this singular or plural as groups? Plural. 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 As groups. As groups. Singular. Is singular, correct. The first group, you have one group, airplanes, and the second group, cars. So a you are group. comparing two, two things, two groups. You are comparing only two groups. But because you are using plural in the in the subject, you need to use the single, the, the plural in the verb to be. But in the context, you are comparing always two things. That is the reason why the sentence is correct. Even though even though the verb to be is plural. But you are comparing two groups only. You're not comparing three groups. Right? Got it? So is correct? It is correct. Yeah, it is correct. It is correct. Because you are using plural, but this is a group, a group of airplanes. You're using cars, that is plural, but it's a different group. At the end, you compare two things, two things, but it's correct. You can say, it. ah, computer, my computers, my computers are more expensive 
than Windows computers. How many brands are you comparing? How many brands? Uh, Marcas. How many brands are you comparing? Two mm -hmm. brands. Two brands only. Two brands. Yes. Two brands. Two brands. Okay. And that is the that is the thing. Two things. Always is two things, even though you use plural. Got it? Got it, got it? Got it. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. All right, good. Let's see. Let's continue uh, with more examples. Uh, we are in this part. Da, 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 da. Okay, the last one. Fixing. Issues in iOS isn't as easy as in Windows. All right, good. Fixing issues in iOS. iOS. Isn't. As easy as in Windows. In Windows. Okay. If you if you translate this, what's the meaning of this sentence? If you translate it. Reparar. Uh -huh. Reparar. Problem. Errores. Problem. Errores. Uh -huh. En iOS. Solucionar problemas en iOS no es tan fácil como en Windows. Ah, okay. The first as is no es tan fácil como. Tan como. You are comparing, but you are using this structure as well. Okay, you can use ah, as easy as. Uh, can you can you give me more examples about this using different structures? One more, one example more in this part about comparing uh, iOS and Windows. For example, mm -hmm. uh, but with, with these two things. Correct, yes. Oh. Windows and Mac using gerunds, okay? Try to practice last night class using gerunds. Okay, only one, please, only one of you. Mm. Try, try. What can you tell? What else can you tell me about comparing Windows and comparing Mac? Or maybe teacher driving uh, cars isn't uh, isn't um, isn't isn't as easy as a bus. Okay. Buses. Uh -huh. Yes, because you are using cars, so you have to use the other group in plural. Driving okay. cars isn't as easy as buses. I would say the opposite because it's more difficult to drive buses than drive cars. Mm -hmm. uh, the opposite, that, but that is the idea. Yeah, it is correct. Okay. Driving, car, mm -hmm. driving cars isn't as easy as buses. It is correct. The structure is, is good. Check. In this one is normal adjective, no comparative. Okay, good. All right. Okay, it is correct. Very good. Now, the next part. We have next part. Uh, we have 12 minutes. Okay. Using gerunds, check the examples. And now check this one. Using nouns using nouns okay examples uh, can you read the examples please uh, -da -da -da. francisco yeah teacher can you read windows the, the examples mm -hmm. yeah windows system has more compatibility than ios size system system ah, okay windows system has more compatibility than iOS system. Is that true? Is yeah. this sentence true? Yeah. It is true, correct. For me, Windows, for me it's true. It is true, correct. Windows has, Windows system has. What is the noun? What is the noun that you are using? Hmm? More compatibility. More compatibility. Com 
Is this uh, an adjective or a noun? Compatibility. Adjective or noun? No. Noun, correct. You can noun. use, correct. You can use these structures using nouns as well. Not adjectives. This one is a noun, compatibility. Next sentence. I use as... All right. Okay. Let your issues then we go. All right. Okay. iOS has less computer computer issues than Windows. Than Windows. Is that true? True, right? Yeah, it's true. That's true. Correct. Okay. I use both. I use Windows and Mac. Okay. What is the noun in the sentence? Better service. Okay. Mm. The noun is less Let's go computing. Computing issues. issues. Okay. Very good. Computing issues is the noun. Yeah. That is the noun, even though it's in plural. Issues. Issues is plural. But this is the noun. Correct. Number three. Windows has better service than iOS. Hey, is that true that Windows has a better service than iOS? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. It's Definitely true. true. Yeah, correct. They attend you better. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, what is the noun in the sentence? Better service. Better service. Okay. Better is a comparative adjective, but together with a noun, you make the sentence using nouns. Okay. Uh, tell me one example using a noun, guys. What could be one example using... A noun. Okay, take a moment and think in a possible sentence. Okay, it's always about Windows and Mac, always about it. Anyone using nouns? You always are going to use has. For example, uh, window has uh, more complements. Okay. Than iOS. Correct. Very good. Hey, that's true. You can find pretty cool complements when using Windows. I agree. Yes. Okay. Very good. The sentence is correct. Okay. More complements is the the noun. Yes, uh, who wrote, who rose, rose uh, the hand? Uh, Jorge, yes. Tell me, Jorge. Um, Windows logo is not as colorful as Mac logo. Ah, okay, okay. The sentence is correct, but the sentence is for, for the other structure. But it's correct. I will add it in this part. Uh, repeat it, please. Repeat it. I'm going to add it. Windows logo. Okay. Can you repeat it, please? Repeat the sentence. Windows logo is not as colorful as Mac logo. Okay. Good example. Is You can use the contraction. When you speak, use contractions. Isn't as... Colorful as Mac logo. Hey, that's true. That's true. Yes, it is. Colorful. Colorful is an adjective. Colorful. Is that an adjective? Mm -hmm. Let's check. I need to double check. When you have doubts, the tools. Da -da -da -da. Colorful, colorful, adjective, there it is, it is. Colorful. Yes, it is an adjective. Okay, the sentence is correct, but it goes in this part, in this part. All right. Okay, guys, get, get the idea about when you use uh, adjectives comparing two things with, with gerunds and using nouns. Yes. 
-hmm. I, I have a, uh, an example. All right. Tell yeah. me your example. Mac has uh, more years than iOS. Ah, Mac has more years yes. than iOS. iOS, how many years? How many years? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, okay, but the example is correct. Yes. Okay, pretty cool. Mug has more years. So what is the noun? The noun more is years. More, years. more years, correct. Than iOS. Okay, pretty cool. Excellent, guys. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh let's see. Do we have anything else to cover? Uh oh, the activities. We didn't have time to practice with them, but you have the links. You can practice with, with the activities, no problem. Okay, let's see. This is homework for you. Look at the pictures and compare them using gerunds or nouns with comparative adjectives. We have two objects, two cell phones. You can compare Samsung S22 against or versus the iPhone 14 Pro. You can write your sentences below them using gerunds or using uh, nouns to practice, okay? And this is a link that you can use to continue practicing. All right, um, okay. We don't have more material to cover. That would be it for today as the first week of class. All right, questions, doubts? Teacher, mm -hmm. there are a page or a link who can share us about nouns like adjectives. Uh, an extra information, you yes. mean? Ah, okay, yes. I can get them. I can get them for you. I, I will be sending those links to the WhatsApp group. No problem. Thanks. Okay, about adjectives. But remember, you can check the links in the presentation. When you see links in the presentation, for example, in this part, check. You have the rules on the second link. When you click on it, you have all this information about this. But I can send more. I can send you more. No problem. Not a problem. Okay, guys. Have a nice night. Enjoy your sure. weekend. Okay. Yeah where I can find the presentation in the same in the same link yeah at the end of the at the end of the first presentations that I sent in the do you have the first presentation in the group that I sent I only have the second presentation yes, uh, it's at the end always at the end no problem it's always at the end the link where you can download the rest of the presentations is at the end, okay? It is the same link, no problem. It is at, at, at the end, yes. Thanks. All right, not a problem. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Have a good night and a good weekend. See you on Monday. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you on Monday. Good night, teacher. Okay. Thank, thank you. you guys, pretty cool. See you next week. Bye. Next week, first yeah. See you, see you, see you. Take care.